Hey, what's up, guys? Before we get into the video, what I wanted to do is just tell you, man, come over to FunnelHackerPro.com. You can just go to FHP.io. Social Insider. So I had to take a look at this, and I was asking myself, man, this, this sounds familiar, but they've changed their branding, and man, have they changed what's going on on the inside of the actual app itself. They've really changed the UI. They've made a lot of changes here. I just hadn't been here in a while. So um, this is nothing new to AppSumo. Uh, they came last year, and they've been hanging around on Social Insider. AppSumo's been putting out a lot of trash lately. But I, and I was going to actually like dump, like dump rag on them the, for this, man. But Social Insider is really a good app if you want to be nosy and find out what your competitors are doing. I can't, I, to be honest with you, I've actually used this before. You see I'm looking at Russell Brunson, and I wanted to know what his best posts were before. Uh, and I was always, you know, comparing them to people like Grant Cardone as well, right? So it's about somebody else in my niche. Um, and I wanted to know, like, how many posts he had. And, man, what's really cool is that they tell, like, whether a post got boosted or not, which is really cool, like, not yet classified or not boosted. They have, they will show which post did get boosted. Um, and they were constantly just working on this app. They're not even done with this thing, man. And they did a really good job. So to be honest with you, this is really kind of weird because um, I, to be honest with you, I hadn't been in this app in a while. But what's really cool is uh, they are really working on the reports that go in here. Uh, one of the better analytics uh, uh, that the one of the better analytics uh, tools that I have seen in a while. So you can see how much engagement they've had, how many posts they had what their fan growth looks like, and he hasn't had much. But he's got a global fan count of 6 million here. The average engagement, uh, and you can really see what his post evolutions look like and when is the best time to post. And here's his top three posts, right? So 5,000, not much money, money goes where money knows. And they're telling you what the best posts are, right? So like the sacrifice, the one little trick literally saved me millions of dollars. Anyone can do it. And so you see these little things like this. So you know, hey, I could post like this. Now look at the analytics here, dude. Crazy analytics, man. So much that I wouldn't even go through, like, watching all this stuff. But you can see, like, engagement by a post type. Like, now here's really important. So video is kicking everything else into packs, right? Uh, video post. And that's really something important. Like, if you're in this niche to find out what, what the audience likes better. And I'm in this niche in video does really well when they look at the engagement and then they're showing like the type per day what gets better looks right and then the breakdown of interactions for each day they really this is one of the better analytical tools that i've seen out there and I, honestly i came to talk shit about this tool until i, I went and i said wait a minute, i have a login for this tool. I'm like, wait a minute this is the same but they've changed their branding and they've changed changed things around um this was a really good tool, man. Um, and you can uh, sort it out by um, projects now uh, to see, um, you know, like set up different projects for like your clients or whatever, which is really cool. And I believe we had that you can set up for um, different logins for your people. You can white label it. I remember having white label. They started with white label reports with your logo. Um, you can put your brand color on it now. They've done a lot of changes to this app, man. They've really improved it, and they're all in on this app, right? So um, if I were you and you don't have one of these um, social analytical tools, I highly suggest that you grab it. This, I was going to tell you not to grab any app because I have so many of these. And AppSumo came out with tons of these apps. And to be honest with you, these apps that post for each other and stuff, and what I'm understanding, they're adding Twitter as well. Now, I'm not sure, but let's take a look and see. So, no, for right now, it's just Instagram and Facebook. But from what I'm understanding, they're adding Twitter. And I don't know if that's new and what they have now, um, but Twitter is nice, right? Understanding Twitter. It's funny how the evolution of applications go right now. So, before Twitter kind of dropped off the face of the earth and they hadn't been growing, but what they did find out about Twitter recently was that while Twitter isn't enjoying growth at this moment, they're not losing users. And the users they have are like loyal. 
And so uh, I was talking to one of my clients the other day, and like, look, man, we need to find other channels for advertising because I just don't like Facebook. I'm like, dude, Twitter is a good place to go look. And, you know, like LinkedIn is cool, but I'm not really liking LinkedIn as much. But Twitter is a good place to look uh, for advertising, and so is YouTube, right? These are two places that a lot of people are going to look to. But YouTube, I mean, uh, Twitter, uh, they do have a retargeting pixel, and you can start stories on there and kind of do your own thing and, and really make a Twitter funnel. So uh, if they do add Twitter, it'd be good. Instagram is another untapped place to go look for um, uh, to look for influencers to advertise with, right? I'm not necessarily saying paying Facebook to advertise on Twitter would be a good thing, but what I would, I mean, on Instagram would be a good thing, but what I am telling you is that I think that it's a good place to go search for influencers, paying attention to their engagement, and actually, uh, like, you can look at their engagements and see exactly how many people deal with their posts, and then you can see what posts would be boosted or not boosted, and you can look and see if they're a good fit for your product or your client's product. So, like, I don't use these tools for what everybody else uses these tools for. But uh, this way, I believe everybody would use this particular tool the same way. And that is to really put a report in of what the competition is doing so your clients can actually look and see what the competition is doing. And then you guys can come up with a detailed a plan of action on how you plan on um, adjusting your strategy to what the market is responding to. So anyway, so for me, it's a thumbs up for Social Insider because they made even when I logged in here, man, I didn't even recognize the app. It, it just really kind of blew me away of how many how many changes because I hadn't been in here for, for months, and it just blew me away on how many um, posts that I mean, how much they how many changes. So this one's likely to be boosted. So I guess they're looking at like the actual like regular engagement, and then and then seeing that there's a change. So it's, oh, this is more than likely got boosted or whatever. That's pretty cool, right? And that's cool. So you can see what kind of ads they're posting out there, along with your own research. This is a really good tool to say, okay, yeah, I like this, and you can just tell your clients, hey, man, this is something I think you should be doing. The, the market responded well to these ads, and I think we could, you know, duplicate that. And let's try to uh, put together something for for for, uh, for your ad campaigns. I honestly do like this. Like I said, I hadn't been through this in a while, and I think this is really good. So if you're considering buying this lifetime deal, I think you should. Um, if you notice that I haven't been talking a lot about the lifetime deals that don't have Sumo, but this one, once I saw that it's just they had rebranded and I saw the changes... If there's one thing that we don't like on AppSumo or any or any app for that matter is when they're not making improvements. This app, since I purchased it, has been constantly making improvements. Their roadmap and they've been focused in doing exactly what they said they would do. So if you're on the fence about Social Insider, go ahead and grab it. I don't even have a link for this, guys. Just go for it, man, uh, and uh, enjoy your app. Coffee break. <sighs> Ha, 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 ha.